We heard the first details of this shooting while people were in five states, including Texas, voting in primary elections. The biggest primary news comes from Georgia, where Republican Governor Brian Kemp beat his Trump-backed challenger, former Senator David Perdue. It was one of several defeats for candidates backed by the former president. But Trump's choice in the Georgia Senate race, football legend Herschel Walker easily won the GOP nomination. That sets the stage for a hotly contested race in November against Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock. Ed O'Keefe is in Atlanta. Ed, did anyone talk about the Texas shooting after the election? Well, Michelle, good morning. Besides a few brief prayers and mentions, candidates mostly moved on from the shooting in Texas, focusing on their results last night. The biggest contest, as you mentioned, were here in Georgia. And in his acceptance speech last night, the Georgia governor, Brian Kemp, focused on his record on the economy and keeping Georgia open during the pandemic. He made no mention of former President Donald Trump, who campaigned hard against him, and instead focused on his Democratic opponent, Stacey Abrams. It'll be a rematch for the two of them this fall. Abrams says she's tried telling Georgians four years ago that electing Kemp was a mistake, and she'll do it again this year. Meanwhile, Republican former football star Herschel Walker, as you said, now faces Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock in a race that could eventually cost tens of millions of dollars, as it's one of the few competitive races that could determine who controls the Senate next year. The Georgia elections official who most prominently stood up to the former president by refusing to manipulate election results, his name, Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger, he fended off a challenge from several different opponents. Down in Texas, the political dynasty of the Bush family may have come to an end, at least for now. State Attorney General Ken Paxton defeated George P. Bush, the nephew and grandson of the former president, Bush. Paxton was one of the few winners last night who addressed the Texas school shooting publicly, saying in an interview that teachers should be armed as a solution to school shootings. Keep an eye later this week on a meeting of the National Rifle Association in Houston. Among those scheduled to speak at the conference, Former President Trump. Gail? Former President Trump, Senator Cruz, and Governor Abbott will all be there, I'm told. Uh, thank you.